Okay. Find the stream values of the function uh, f of x y x squared plus two y squared on the circle x squared plus y squared equals one. So for this problem, we have uh, our general function of x, f x and y, and our constraint function of x and y. So it's a we're going to use Lagrange multipliers, but with two variables. So for this, as I said, the general function it's x squared plus 2y squared and our g will be 1 equals to x squared plus y squared. So what we do here it's we take the partials with respect of x and partials with respect of y of the general function and we say that that's going to be equal to the partials of, the, of g of x and the partials of g with y times a, a multiplier that we're going to call lambda. So this will be f of x equals lambda g of x and f of y is going to be equal to lambda g of y. So these are our Lagrange multiplier. Uh, so we have to take the partial of, of each and for this one it will be 2x Sorry. 2x will be equal to lambda, the partial of x uh, with the g will be 2x2. And for the y, we're going to have the partial with respect of y of x of f will be just 4y, it's going to equal lambda, the partial with respect of y of g, that will be just 2y. So for this, we have the two solutions, either x equals 0 or lambda equals 1. So we know that, <coughs> we know that x could equal 0, so now we use our other equation, the, the g of x. So if we know that 1 has to equal x, squared plus y squared, we plug this 0 into this equation, and we're going to get 1, 0, plus y squared, and that will give us that y has to equal plus or minus 1. So now we have uh, some values of y that can, can we can use. In this case, we also have uh, y equals 0. So now we plug in, as we did before, we plug the y into the g of x. So this will be y equals 0. So x squared equals, equals 1. So when we take the square root, we're going to get plus or minus 1. So for our critical points, we will have the x equals 0 y equals plus minus 1, or x equals plus minus 1, and y equals 0. So we're going to have 0 comma 1, 0 comma minus 1, 1 comma 0, and minus 1 comma 0. So if now we have our critical points, we have to evaluate it at the function of, of our general function of f. So if we evaluate 0, 1, uh, we will get 0 plus 0 squared is 0 plus 2y squared. In this case, y is 1. And we'll see that when we square y or either 1 or minus 1, we'll get the same, so we can just plug into 1. So we'll get 2. And for f of 1, 0, we'll get that x squared, just 1 or minus 1 again. So it's just 1 squared plus 0, because the y is 0. 
will give us one. So our local max and mans will be f equals 2 and f equals 1. So these are max and these are mean. Can you pass it or can I? Can you pass it? Yeah. So as we see, as we found before, our max and min will happen at zero comma one or zero comma minus one. So that will be that will, our max will happen at zero. So x equals zero and y equals one. So right here, as we can see in the in the graph, it's it's a max because this circle. This are G and the uh, elliptic parabola is our F. So if we want to pro if we project this circle on onto F, we're gonna get these intersections at max or mins. So our zero comma one is our max. In their case for our min, we found that it's one and it happens at one comma zero. So we move one unit in one, and we don't move in y, so we're going to get this point right here. And we can also take a look at our level curves. So if we graph the level curves of, of uh, f, we're going to get And for our G, we're just going to get a circle of this. So, oh, I think I did it right. <laughs>